buried his fiance. It was the funeral for Kirsten Smith. She was killed when a crane collapsed into the Elon City Lights apartments on June 9th. That couple was set to get married in the fall. Her services were held in Houston. And the damage to that complex forced all of the renters from the apartment complex to find temporary housing. They will not be allowed to return to their units. So that leaves a lot of questions about what's happening with their belongings. And those questions are still unanswered. Here's Matt Howerton. Oh my God, the crane is falling over. Oh my God. Sunday will mark oh two God. weeks. Oh my God, you guys. Since this massive crane sliced through the Elon City Lights apartments, killing one, injuring several, and displacing hundreds. This is our home till the end of the month. Like Abby Carney and her husband. It's not something you can prepare for. Who have been living at the Omni ever since. And they, like so many others who live nowhere near the collapse in the complex. I've got guitars in there. My husband has his baseball card collection that he's been working on since he was a child. Still have valuables stranded inside. And it's just the stuff that you can't replace. Our memories, our scrapbooks. Even family heirlooms like furniture dating back to the 1940s. And here's the thing. We just want to know any kind of timeline. Graystar, the owners of the complex, said it would start itemizing and shipping personal belongings last week. But an update sent to residents suggests it might take longer than expected, adding that a moving plan must be approved through governmental authorities who are considering the safety of those executing the plan and the restriction and control of the OSHA preservation zone, AKA this. So until OSHA approves. At this point, we don't know any kind of timeline on when that will be. So we're just hoping, we're just hoping to get our stuff back at all. Everyone's stuff stays where it is. Imagine that, everything you own, stuff you use every day in limbo. All the carnies can do. And we're very fortunate to have what we have. We escaped with our lives. Is keep things in perspective. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.